Hey y'all, it's Jen, the host of Ask Jen on the Uprising Network, and I have a special guest in studio today. First of all, this is my very good homegirl of many, many years. And if you like, hum, she looked familiar, it's because you've definitely seen her on your TV screen. As soon as you turn on Tubi, she is on a home screen or at the top of your Amazon Prime. She has been the star in movies such as Not Left in Vegas, He Played Me, and my personal favorite, Deceitful Passions. Okay, really? Deceitful Passions is your favorite? It's, it's messy. So <laughs> introduce yourself to the people who are unfamiliar. Okay, hey world. My name is Shelby Lee, and I'm from the West Side of the D. Yeah, What's yeah. up? <laughs> so, what? Who are you? What do you do? I don't already tell the people, but you gotta let them know. <laughs> okay, I am. I am an actress, and I am venturing into assistant directing. I am opening up my own production company called Shelby Lee Productions, and I am in conjunction with Kamal Smith Films. We got a lot of projects that are on the way, so we will be talking about that a little bit later. But I am just young, black, trying to do what we got to do in this world. Because, baby. Shout out to Kamal Smith. I'm a very big Kamal Smith fan. Like, <laughs> I love all of his Bro. films. So, like, if that's who you working up under, baby, you is on the path Thank you. To <laughs> Thank you. So, since you told the people you were actress, I'm about to um, ask you a question. Yes. What role do you think you will body? And I'm about to give you some options to choose from, Okay. okay. Taraji and Baby Boy, <laughs> Beyonce and Obsessed, Leela Rashawn and Waiting to Exhale, or Jasmine Guy and Boomerang. Have you seen all these movies, by the way? Yes. Okay. Which role do you think you would kill in? You know what? It's between Baby Boy. Okay. And waiting to exhale. Waiting to exhale. Yeah. Leela Rashawn was like my favorite character. I, all of the, the girls did they She thing. was relatable. She Her was the most relatable. Yes. So dynamic. So relatable. Yep. The stuff that she was going, going through, through, I felt like. We going through now. Nah, or the girls. Went through, like, the girls done went through that. Like, cause we ain't, I ain't been through marriage yet. Okay. So, I ain't had to burn down a nigga whole wardrobe. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know. <laughs> so, you said you're opening up your own production studio. How did you get into production? You know what? It was just, I I said something, I had, I went on the podcast like a few years ago and they were asking like, where do you see yourself in five years? And I just was like, oh, I would love to get into directing. But I was just saying it because they were asking a question. Mm -hmm. And as time proceeded to go on and it's like, you know, you see like COVID helped a lot with the black film community in Detroit. And it was just like, as opposed to us doing like one or two films, trying to get it put out a year, it's been of like a very <laughs> high demand now. Mm -hmm. And I'm just like, I'm not going to get cast for every role that I auditioned for or sought out to get. But I at least want to be a part of it some way, somehow. So when um, Kamal, he has a, we have a new film coming out called Par Parental Discretion Advice. When he sent me the script, he was like, no, I want all new faces. I'm like, damn, you don't want my face? I'm like, but I want to be a part of this because he had, we blowing up cars in this bitch. It's a chase. It's, we doing it all in this film. So I'm like, let me let me do something. And he was just like, okay, because I'm starring in it. I want you as my AD, as my first assistant director. Wow. He was like, so you got to be my eyes when I can't be my eyes. And I'm like, hell yeah, I got this. Like, but it was a challenge, but it was a good challenge, and I loved it. I think, like, when we talk about mentorship and, like, leadership and things mm -hmm. like that, I think, you know, raising as you climb is so important. And for him yeah. to give you that opportunity, like, what did that feel like? What did that mean for you to be an actress who has worked with him mm -hmm. in multiple roles to be like, you're good enough to support me in directing? He really, honestly, he got me my first, my first start. Like, um, my first stage play, Brian, it was at the YMCA Bowl Theater downtown, he gave it to me like I was trying to get out there and nobody was like, you know, being clickish. Mm -hmm. So nobody want to get somebody that's new. They want the people that they already got, which is, I mean, the community still want to be a clickish, but it's opening up more. Okay. But he gives people chances. He sees things in people that you don't even see in yourself sometimes. That's and you be needing that. Idea. Yeah. I have a question. So you talked a little about, about production, but let's rewind back a little bit. 
I feel like you mentioned like you can't be at every movie. You are in so many films. What was your but path? I'm not. What was your path to like acting looking like for you? Like how was it? How did you get involved? How did you figure out about the Detroit film community? Like, and how did you get to the level that you at now? Oh, my goodness. Okay, so when I first started out, I wanted to be a news broadcaster. Okay. Did an internship. You wanted to sit at the, the desk like me. Okay. Yes, I did. <laughs> Until I did an internship with um, a local news station, and it was so depressing. It was just killings you gotta go drive four hours out talk to these people like they child just didn't get killed and I just was like I'm not feeling this I don't want to do this so when I went to Spex Howard and I went for film and video they just showed you all the different you know angles and jobs like you know you just don't have to do this you can try other stuff and I was just like okay I this acting, I, I like it. I did it a little bit when I was younger, when I was a kid, musical theater child. Okay. So, and I'm like, okay, let me let me dive back in. So, student films, that's what started me. And then Kamal is what led the path. What movie do you feel like people will be like, recognize you the most for? Um, Deceitful Passions or He Played Me. Okay. Them is the, the top, top two. two. <laughs> Those are the top two for sure. All right, this is a great question to, like, get into, okay? So, since this is Ask Jen, people Mm -hmm. send questions in to me to give people advice. Mm -hmm. I want you to give advice to some of the characters that you have played in some of your films, okay? If you was to give advice to Hayes and Price of Love, what would that advice be? Oh, my God. Hayes and Price of Love. And I love Price of Love. Like Me too. I love how Price of Love was shot. Like, that... Sorry. Shout out to Vezo. Thank you, Vezo. And come on, direct that too. So oh, watch it. Oh, Price sorry. love. Okay. What would I give her? Why would you sell your bitch up? Like, why would you do that? <laughs> why would you? That friendship wasn't valuable to you. That, why would you set your girl like, up? Like, girl, we've been friends since we was kids, and this is how you set her up for a nigga? For a nigga. For a nigga. Don't it's do always it. about why is it always okay, about a nigga? That's the advice. Don't 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 be willing to do anything. Come for on. A nigga now. Come on. Come on. Camille and Deceitful Passions, what advice would you give to her? <laughs> that woman was she deranged. Didn't, she didn't have no mama. I I I am so certain of it. She did not have a mom. <laughs> Nothing, nothing that she did. Like, she didn't have no friends, no auntie. Like, she just did not Get care. Get some she good was, female guidance in Guidance. Your life. Oh, my God. She needed it from the beginning. She was doing from the start. Doing bullshit she, from, from the, the start. start. She started off the, on all uh, bullshit. bullshit. <laughs> if the movie ended in the first 20 minutes, I literally would have understood. Oh, my goodness. And the fact that it went so much far. I keep talking about this so passionately. Deceitful Passions is my favorite movie. <laughs> when everybody like, what should I watch? Deceitful Passions. Passions, and it just I going. tweet about it all the time. Love the movie. Messy, full of drama. Cur- drama. Twist at the end. Interested? Watch it. <laughs> what advice would you give to Yasmin and he played me? Oh, I don't know, because it's based on a true story. Yeah. So. <sighs> at what point will you be like, girl, you doing too much? I don't, it's like, because the, I know who it's based on, yeah. so it's like, what do I tell her? <laughs> like, girl. If you could have talked to her back then, what would you have told her? Girl, you love too hard. You like, love too hard. You want to love everybody. She loves very hard, and I know she means it well. well. But everybody don't who don't receive pure love, like, really don't have good intentions. And because she was, because I know her personally, she was raised off love, mm. and I just feel Felt like people took advantage of that. People took advantage of that, and she was kept attracting people who just wanted to suck the love from her and didn't know how to give it back. Alexis and not left in Vegas. What advice would you give to her? She got daddy issues. She got daddy issues for sure. She got daddy issues, but she also got sister issues. And <laughs> repair them family relationships. Alexis. Yes, please, please. Is there a director or actor that you would love to work with? Like, does that have to be like... It don't have to be local. It could be anybody. Okay. Ask Jen is across the world. Okay, so it is an actor. He not... I don't even want to say like... He's not like 
Denzel. He not Denzel. Okay. He not Denzel. He not. He not. I got a will. Okay. But. I just feel like because I'm stepping into that next step that I know I'm probably going to work with him uh-huh. soon, so I'm manifesting this. Okay. Um, he was in Truth to the Game, Andre Fuller. Oh, I he know. He was exactly in Black he Jesus. Mm-hmm. And, oh, my God. I love him. You love I, him. I love him. Andre Sorry, Fuller, yes. if you see this clip, hit my girl Shelby up. She want to work with you. Okay. If you in a film and they need a, a, a female lead, holla at my girl. Me. Okay. Because right. I already had the pleasure of working with Jeremy Meeks. And he is so... Cool in person. I, you know, like when you like see these people and you be like, you about to be acting funny style. Nah, but if a motherfucker share they weed with you, (laughs) they good. Okay. And he has some fire shit that he grew. Oh, I know that's right. Yeah. And in a lot of your films, you a messy bitch. Why do you think you play a messy bitch so well? Because I'm not a messy bitch in real life. (laughs) You said I'm about to turn this up. (laughs) I'm about to show my ass. Okay. Because I'm not, I am not, I don't like drama in uh-huh. real life. So to play characters that just, drama just is their life, uh-huh. it's so fun. And it's just not me. So, But I can get there. I just don't like, I to, just go don't like to go there. I don't like to go there. So that's why you play it so well. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> what is something that you think people who like need to know about Shelby Lee and the characters that you play in your movie, what is something that people need to completely separate you from? I am not these characters. Y'all. Okay. I am not these characters. I do not have real relationships with these people. I am characters with. <laughs> uh, we just be doing a job, y'all. That's it. What is something that people who watch you in films, what's something about you personally that you wish they knew? Oh, my God. I don't know. I don't, y'all don't need to know that much about me. I already <laughs> said enough on, on another podcast. I don't need to know that. Oh, that was good. <laughs> oh, listen, that was good. Shout out to Cocktail. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's all y'all need to know right there. <laughs> like, How do you, um, like, cope? So, like I said, I've, I've known you for a long time. I've watched you get into acting. I saw you, like, in one movie, and now you, like, in 10 at a time. Mm-hmm. That's streaming. How do you, like, kind of cope to, like, more people just knowing your face and um, kind of adjust to, like, your newfound fame? Um, I, it's, it's weird. Okay. It's. It's a, it's a feel good, but still at the same time, like, yo, stop playing with me. Stop playing with me. Stop playing with me. Like, it just. I'm a real person. I'm a real person. And, like, it's been, at first, like, I didn't notice it much because I'm just like, oh, okay. Because I was in Atlanta. And I'm just like, I'm at work. I look busted and disgusted behind the bar working. And people are coming up to me like, oh, my God. This one girl was like, it's my birthday. Can you please sign this? This get, I want your autograph. I'm like, autograph. autograph. You was a celebrity. Sure. I go on Tubi. Your face is one of the first things that I see. Come on, you a celebrity. And everybody used Tubi. It's free. Shout out to Tubi. <laughs> I don't know how y'all stay free, but know. it is. Maybe it's the ads. But, but that's how people are. I don't. It, it's got to be the ads because they're making money. I believe it. They are. I watch everything money. on there. I watch everything on there. The first thing, if I when I turn on my TV, first thing I'm doing is putting on Tubi. Oh my goodness! And even if like we get paid, if you, well, not me, but okay, <laughs> we get paid even if you just click it wow. for ten seconds. That's a that's a hit. I know that's, that's right. That's it. And I be watching the whole bitch, honey. Y'all done got y'all money from me every time. I don't know how they doing it, but they are doing it. Uh, shout out to them. I mean, distribution company. Okay. Major distribution. Okay. So, this asks Jen. Y'all know I like to play games. I got a game for us to play. We got games. So, you are an actress. Okay. Oh, she's about to make me act. Yes, I'm about to make you act. You about to read lines. (laughs) She's about to make me act. You are about to read lines, and you need to tell me the actress and what film. And also, you don't have to read the whole thing. If you get, like, halfway through and you know what it is, shout it out, okay? Okay. This okay. Is the first one. So I don't have to act it, act, act it, it out, but I gotta act, act it, it out. Okay. <laughs> you, you gotta read the line. You okay. gotta read it out loud. Okay. Tell me the truth, Carl. Who you been sleeping with, Joe? I promise you, since 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 you and I have been together, I have not slept with another woman, and I promise you that. What about a man? The fuck you? Oh, this uh for color girls. Yes. So you doing the bend? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. Okay, next one. <laughs> this is fun. 
Oh, okay. You got VD? Can we talk about this in private? No, I think y'all been talking in private long enough. How long you had it? A week. <gasps> oh, why did I get married? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Tasha Smith and how did I get married? <laughs> why did I get married? Okay. <sighs> you doing good. You was uh, you study your craft, honey. Oh, my goodness. Now, t- now, Terry, your mother worked hard to keep that family in the house for you and your family. Oh, fuck the family. Family, fuck my husband. Period. Okay? Shit. Look, all the fellow floor. That was Vanessa Williams, Soul Food. Did okay? It. <laughs> that is the last one. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, my goodness. Hey, Connie, where you headed? Up there to see your man. Is he up there? Yeah, he up there. Let me go holler at that nigga. Okay, bye, sweetie. Bitch. Oh, my God. Why can't I get this? You know this one. Where you at? Up there to see your man. Is he up there? Oh, my God. It's like right there, but yeah. Is it on this side? Nope. Oh, damn. Look at me like. You don't got it? No. Gabriel Union 2 can play that game with the ponytail. Oh, sh- do you know? VP I look- and Bonafide Ho. Two can play that game. Two Why can play I- that game. I couldn't think of that to save my life, and I love that Vivica movie. Vivica A. Fox, Fox. and um, oh, Gabriel me- Union. Gotta get that. Gotta that, that nigga, bro. <laughs> got that ponytail. <laughs> oh, my God. So, you know, this is Ask Jen, and mm-hmm. people have sent me in questions, but you can't just be a guest and not do no work. Okay. So I'm going to have you answer some questions from my audience. Oh, okay? shit. Okay, hold on. Let me drink you, Jen. Mm-hmm. What wine would you recommend to drink? See, I'm not really a wine drinker. Me either. I'm a liquor girl. I'm a straight-up liquor girl. But I drink Riesling. Okay. I like Riesling, too. I like Riesling. It's it's not too sweet like Moscato, but I don't like red wines. It's too dry for me. Okay. But any type of brand of a Josh, if you're just trying to start off. Okay. Or Decoy. It's got the little duck on it. Yeah. Okay. So, how old are you? 31. Okay, I'm 32. Okay. So this question is about turning 30. Do you have any fears or worry? Did you have any fears or worries about turning 30? And how is it on the other side now? Child, my knee hurts. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I be feeling like arthritis. But um, turning 30, it just, I don't know. It just kind of felt like a, a mental switch kind of like went off in my head a little bit. Just like, okay, girl, you have fun. But now it's, like, really time to do what you trying to do. Like, you can I, still have fun, but. I, the hangovers, how long it takes me to get over a hangover now? Like, that's, two days. That's something that I, I really, like, I can't, I'm in, dis, I'm in, I'm in continuous dis- disbelief about. I cannot. Two days? I used to could jump up and Jump up the next and let's do it again. No, I be, I be having to call off work. Yes. I dead ass I have to sleep <laughs> the whole sleep. day. I don't want no food. I no, just... son, no, I can't even eat. You know, you a hangover <laughs> meal. No, I can't eat for three days. My stomach ain't right. No, and then I got to watch what I eat. <sighs> no. I think that's the worst part. Yeah, Like, af- it is. actually having to take care of your body. It's just like, you used to take care of yourself, babe. What happened? Oh, my goodness. Body falling apart. <laughs> like, what's going on? That's what happens? We rotten like fucking fruit. No, but no. Okay, this is the last question. Hi, Jen. My job fired me after I put in my letter of resignation. Mm. I still want two weeks of pay. I was going to work, and it feels like it was a wrong termination. Any tips? <sighs> she got fired. That's mm-hmm. a, that sounds like a lawsuit. Okay. That sounds like a lawsuit. You need to call Ben Crump. Yeah. No, I'm like, yeah, Who but also... That? I personally, he's like the lawyer who like chase ambulances. Every wrongful death police lawsuit, he is on it. Ben Crump, a weirdo. Um, anyway, I feel like if your job fired you after you put your letter of reg- resignation in, unfortunately, Michigan is an at will state. Oh. So like they can literally be like, oh, you put it in your two weeks. I want to fire you anyway. That's really fucked. So up. if you you was anticipating that two weeks of work, I feel like at least reach out to HR and see like what but, policies that they have in place that say they can do something like that. Yeah. If not, they don't have any. If it's like a retailer or something like that, I would say go in there and steal things and um possibly get your money back because 
<laughs> Some way. I ain't, gonna that. The, I ain't gonna be the Ooh. only one losing in this situation. No, okay? somebody else going with me. Okay. This okay. This is another question. Okay. Why my bitch think I got bitches in other states just because I'm a truck driver now? Because you probably do. Hello, did it, girl? You take probably... my job. This <laughs> Take it, because you do. You're not tricking me, truck driver man. Like, you may not be, like, getting the buns from all of them, but... You seeing, a, you seeing some hoes. You seeing some. Your girl is You smart. getting a home-cooked dinner. Your drawers is getting washed somewhere in Connecticut. It's, <laughs> it's happening. Stop playing. What's something unexpected in the film industry that you've come across that you like, if someone wants to be an actor or actress, that you would like people to know? Um, just remember, like, when you get on these sets, it's a job at the end of the day. Um, people are always watching you, and you are always watching people. Like, people going to show you how they move. Um, don't just, just because you want to be on set or you want to be in a film, that you have to take certain things. Because harassment is still out there. It's, people are still slimy, mm-hmm. even in a Detroit ghetto film, <laughs> it's still there because it's still a business, even though we're indie. I it, feel like any business, there are people who are going to try to prey on and take advantage and of other they people. They can, and, um, they they will if you let them. So just you know what I mean, like don't sell your soul for five minutes. Okay, like cool. that's really it. That's very solid. Any other advice for um, aspiring actors or actresses that you can give? Um. Well, I will say, if you in your gut believe that even if you're not an actress or whatever, sound, camera, writer, if you feel like this is what you want to do, do it. Because it's about to be a lot of people that think your dream and what you, God, feel like you was capable of doing, you're not capable of doing and that's somebody who doesn't need to be by your side because the more positive people that you have in your life is the more that your your goals is going to turn into fruition and it's going to grow. So keep like-minded people around you. Like, don't stop. I think that's really important. And I'm like, you know, we see when people pursue the arts, that's usually like a career that I see people just try to stray others away from. It's like, I've never heard nobody... Say like, don't be a doctor. But there are actors. Because the money comes. There are actors who make more than doctors, but you don't never hear nobody say like, don't. But you gotta work for that. Mm -hmm. Like you gotta work. Like it's not. Let me starting out. It's not easy. Like you're really be broke. Okay. (laughs) Like so, you gotta really love what you're about to do because the storms is storms, and you gotta make it through that storm any way possible. So it's a lot of being. It's a lot of. Being humble, like, because you got to do what you got to do if this is what you want to do. I feel like people, hard work is not yeah. like, if people think it's a cliche, like, work hard, hard work is pay off. I'm like, no, no, there is literally nothing else you can do but. that yield a result except for work. Working you have hard. to do the work. You, you have work. to. Like, you can't shortcut it no more. And that's even what I'm telling myself. I'm giving this to myself. Like, you can't shortcut it no more. It's over. You can't. Put, you got you to gotta put in your work. You have to. All right. So what are your next film releases? Okay, so I don't know when this is you putting this up like soon. Yep. Okay, so he played me too. It's coming on to be like by the end of this month, hopefully by Thanksgiving. Okay. So that is that. Uh, also, my assistant di- di- directorial debut for parental discretion advice that is also coming out before the end of this year. And then I also have. It's like I wasn't main characters in these films, but. Damage Good is also coming out, Make It Out. And then I'm getting ready to have auditions December 11th for all of my projects for the next um, 2023. So if you want to be in a series, uh, a thriller, a drama, domestic abuse, a romantic comedy, come see me. Okay, December producer. 11th, okay, come see me. We got some stuff for you. So That's come so show exciting. us. Yes. And where can people find you? Okay, well, you can find me on Tubi. Just Google my name. Okay. And then also, you can find me on Instagram. That's probably where I will be the most. On uh, Shelby Lee, S-H-E-L-B-Y-L-E-I-Q-H, because all the white girls got the G. Oh, I know that's right. 
the thing is when I t- looked at when I looked up your name, like it's a all, it's all, all white, white girls. Yeah, and they act like oh, one of them was an author. I'm like, girl, See? if you don't put my bitch Yasmin at I the top of the motherfucking I Google page, okay. So yes, <laughs> Shelby, it was so good I talking know, to I you. Had so because listen, let me tell y'all. Yes. I don't like being interviewed. She told real. me that off top. I'm like, you coming? She's like, I don't say yes to interviews, but you, I'll come on ask Jen. Because Jen knows her shit, okay? And so I will always support her thank no you. matter what she does. People don't call me Ask Jen for no reason. So thank you all okay. so much for watching Ask Jen on the Uprising Network. If you ask Jen, I need a movie to watch. I'm inside with my boo. I'm trying to cuddle up. I'm trying to get me a little suspense, thriller, drug okay. dealer, action type movie. Mm. I'm going to tell you to go on any platform, type in Shelby Lee and look for my girl. Thank y'all for watching. See you soon.